All right, take a moment, press play, solve it on your own, and then we'll do it together. Okay, so we've got a problem here about a parabola, and what are we told? Let's see. We have a focus. Where's the focus? It's 0, negative 1. So color code that, blue. So let's say it's here. And that's my focus. And then what else are we told? We're told the directrix is at 1, so up here. This is our directrix up here. So y equals 1, that's our directrix. This is a cool word, isn't it? Directrix. All right. The vertex has to be halfway between those two. So that's going to put me at 0, 0. That's nice. And our parabola would open this way, away from the directrix and around the focus. They even want to know what will the equation be. Well, the standard equation for a vertical parabola is x squared equals 4py. Or if you rearrange that by isolating y, y equals 1 over 4p x squared. p is the, di the absolute value of the distance here. The absolute value of p is the distance between the vertex and directrix or vertex and focus. In other words, I count this distance here, 1, or this distance here, 1. That's the absolute value of p. And if the parabola opens downwards, p is negative. So I just plug that into our equation. So in the first equation here, x squared equals 4 times p, which is negative 1, right, times y. And I get x squared equals negative 4y which is choice two. Now, if the vertex moves around, we simply translate this parent formula. So the vertex is at some point, and it also works at 0, 0, but in general at hk, you say x minus h, you translate over h units to the right by, over h units by subtracting h, and then that would equal 4p times y minus k, you shift up k units by subtracting k. All right, hope that helped.